Okay. So this is your living room. Yeah. This is pretty good. You guys didn't rip anything apart in here. No. <laughs> no, we're good here. Yeah. Come all check right. out the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> all right. What happened? I was like, let's just see what's under here, and uh, got a hammer, smashed away, and then I was like, oh wow, that's a lot more of stuff going on under there, so I stopped. Did you create open shelves? I did. Oh. That's a good look, actually, so I was <laughs> pleased with that. <laughs> what's, that? what's going on here? I was almost taking this wall down, so I was like, okay, well, I'll, let me take at least oh, the so cupboard like doors up. Oh, you were serious. Yeah, I was slowly chipping away. There's a huge wall I can't see anywhere when you're doing your dishes, you're looking at this. They moved in over four months ago, but you wouldn't know it. There's no furniture, nothing's finished, there's nothing hung on the walls. They have a blow-up couch, which I've never seen before, and it's pretty awesome, but it's still a blow-up couch. They also bit off way more than they could chew. What happened in here? <laughs> this, is, this is torn apart. So was this a functional bathroom? It was, yeah. Yes. Is it a functional bathroom now? Depends on your definition of functional, I guess, right? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the toilet right now? in the backyard. Oh my gosh. So you've redone bathrooms before? I've seen it and thought it would be easier to do than it is. Yeah. It's been really fun having one bathroom in our bedroom, basically. Got it. So if people come over, they're using the bathroom that's right attached next to your to our bed. Yeah. Yes, right next to your bed. <laughs> Got it. Oh, look at you. This is what it's all about, right? This yard, this is why you bought this lot, right? Yeah. This is a really big patio. Yeah. It just kind of needs like somewhere to sit. <laughs> That'd be nice. Exactly. I think it's going to be really cool. It's going to be like undoubtedly yours. And yeah, we'll make it better than the other yeah, one. Yeah, I'm super excited. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Isn't it weird how, well, they didn't have a lot of furniture to move out, but it's weird how places look smaller with furniture in them. I'm going to start by taking down the wall and moving the sink and the dishwasher. I'm going to L the cabinetry at a proper range with a hood, leave the refrigerator pretty much where it is, but then add some extra counter space and cabinets. Also, I'm going to add a really cool dining eat-in option, and we put in like a big door, like a big slider, brings an extra light, opens up this area to that area, and make this whole space proper open concept. Yeah, it looks like something happened. For this bathroom, I'm going to keep the layout the same, but fix all the things that Scott has undone. New sink, new faucet, new mirror, new light and figure out how to make this shower feel a little bit more like their style. They want to keep this tile floor. OK. My margin of error on this project is next to nothing. I mean, I have $71,000. I have to take down a wall. I have to expand and redo an entire kitchen. I have to retrofit a bathroom while trying to keep as much of the existing tile as possible. It's going to be a big project. Ooh. We got movement. Let's do my pike. <laughs> we got tile. Looks great. And an intact tub. That wall that Scott wanted down is finally down, and it looks amazing. We've added the new beam for support, new electrical, new drywall, and as for the kitchen floor, I'm kind of obsessed because the tile's being laid in a herringbone pattern. Oh my gosh. It's so good. You made more progress than I expected. So many spacers. I know. There's a lot of work. <laughs> it's so good, though. And this slider looks awesome. It's going to be one of those things that I think just makes this house that much more a place that they love and that they want to call home. I think it's a good use of our funds, too. You know, when you only have so much money oh, yeah. to spend, you got to spend it where it's important. Yeah. This bathroom is coming together. The pocket door is installed. I'm going to add the full-size toilet that now we can now have because we've got this pocket door. And uh, this bull nose is super important for making this shower actually work. We don't want to rip the shower out. We don't have money to do that. But the only way we can keep the shower is to get the rest of the tile finished. By using the old tub enclosure and shower tiles, we're saving about $2,000. But I got to find a cool mirror. We'll do a new light. and. You know, we just got to clean up these floors a little bit. We're doing great with this project, and we're doing pretty good on the budget. That said, Martine and Scott have been living with their in-laws for four weeks now, and I'm feeling the pressure. I mean, I need to get this project finished and get them back in their house. Oh, yeah. This table is in lieu of a proper dining room and an island in the kitchen, which are both things that 
I know Martine and Scott would love to have, but they don't have room for. <laughs> so before they had like a little eat-in kitchen over here with a small table that fit four people. So I think this table is the perfect answer because if they want to use it as a workspace, they can. If they want to have people over, they can all sit here and have that space that they need to just gather. This design for the most part is mid-century modern. That's the guiding principle of this design. But there's some boho, there's some beach to it. It's very casual. I'd say it's a casual interpretation of mid-century modern. I wanted it to be cozy, and I wanted it to feel welcoming, and I wanted to add tons of plants, tons of just soft textures, and then some functional pieces as well. It's time! It is time. <laughs> Oh, is that Cirrus? It is. We but... brought the little buddy. Oh my goodness, he's <laughs> so much bigger. Because you started this project, just the two of you, it might be fun to let just the two of you go in and see the house together for the first time. Before you go inside, I just want to remind you of that house up the street, the one that got away. And I've never seen that house, but I think that this one might be a little better. I All don't right. doubt it already, but Yay. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Have fun. Oh my God. What? Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I really love these chairs. Something is different here. There's no wall. <laughs> this? That looks amazing. Oh my goodness. There's a huge wall. I can't see anywhere when you're doing your dishes. You're looking at this. I can do the dishes and see what's going on over yes. there. That's yes. That's exciting. The floors are like insane. I kind of, I like it. Yeah, this is great. I <laughs> love the side of this table. That is so cool. Because of the way this floor plan is and the size of the house, there was really no way to have a formal dining room and an island in the kitchen. Like, it just wasn't gonna happen. So what I did is I made an Eden kitchen, but with a dining room size table. We have like 10 people at this table. I know, this is so nice. This is really nice. The wood looks really good. Yeah, and kind of same wood as our floor, which we love. Like, everything, like she thought all of everything. All the wood looks... is like all matching, which I like. Oh my gosh, look at this couch. Oh, I love Have the velvet. How is it? Is it good? Yeah, it's hey, super comfy. Here, I love the, the chairs and the couch. It's got that mid-century vibe to it. This looks completely different. There is no blow-up couch. Wow. So cool. Well, those great. real plants. I need some green in my life, and there's yeah. nowhere to put it. This house is so small. I know. This is actually really, really cool. I love this planter. I'm so happy that I decided to have it built. It was a risk, it's huge, <laughs> and it's different, and now that it's installed, I think it was the right decision. I would have never have thought to do anything like that. That slider looks, it's so I'm big. blown away with that. It's huge. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. Wow, it's like calming vibes out here. Yeah. Yeah. This is cool. There was just nothing here before. Oh my gosh. I think we need to check out the bathroom. Oh my god. Wow. That's awesome. <gasps> oh, that is it. so cool. I love the hooks. Because it's wood? Yeah. Of course I mean, you do. Of course. <laughs> All right. That was oh awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah? That was. Oh. We loved it. <laughs> you killed it. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. That was so. Yeah? Cool. Yes. Yeah. It was beautiful. Oh my god. I worked really hard to not just fix the problems of this house, but to take it a step further. For me, it was a lot of work, so I'm really happy that they called me to finish this job because as a team of professionals, if it was a lot of work, there's no way they ever would have gotten it done. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you and the crew for everything that you've done. We haven't known how hard it is because I attempted it <laughs> and uh, failed miserably. So really, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you so much. Now it's our dream home. Absolutely. I think before it was just a house. I hope you guys enjoy it, and it was really fun. I'm gonna go have a baby. I'll see you later. <laughs> All right, good luck. Thank you. Bye, enjoy your house. <laughs> <See ya. laughs>